Hello everybody and welcome back to my bedroom and another wonderful little video where we do wonderful little crochet themed things together. Today we're doing something that is really embarrassing for me but hopefully entertaining for you and that is cleaning up my crochet pile which doesn't sound very entertaining until I tell you that there's works and progresses in here and I'm gonna fix them if I find them. When I find them. When I find them. But let me back up for a second because this this doesn't make any sense unless I kind of explain to you like my setup per se. So let me kind of do that. Over to my right, I have my closet. My closet has all my yarn in it. It's an obscene amount of yarn. There's bins, there's like shoe organizers, so I have them all organized. And then I actually have one extra bin that I use as like a side table that has a basket on it. And that basket is supposed to be the projects I'm working on, overflow yarn, and literally that's it. So over there is just supposed to be a bin and a basket. There is not just a bin and a basket anymore. In my defense, I have a very bad job of putting yarn back where it goes. That is my defense. No, but like actually this is insane. I have a, a an entire Tupperware container of my own yarn. I have a basket that has yarn in it and works of progresses. I have like bags. I have freaking two trash cans in there, which those just need to be emptied out. But I have a yarn order I just got. I have my stuffing box. I have three or four baskets. I have my freaking current project bag, which isn't even my current project anymore and then i have this stack right here which is three giant tubs of yarn that i just got given to me by someone who is no longer in the capacity to crochet so they're like hey take my yarn stash and of course i can't say no to free yarn but i am giving myself four days to do this um and today day number one this is my job this is what i'm doing i'm taking it in steps the most exciting part of this for me is going through those three bins and seeing what kind of yarn that we have so that is step one is going through those three bins and seeing what kind of yarn we have i don't know if i'm gonna keep it all okay because it's a lot of acrylic and i am not a super acrylic -y person however i will be keeping what i will use and if i don't want to keep it she just said to donate it to Goodwill or something. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Or keep it for like crochet lessons or something like that. You know, just find a different use for it. Very excited to start this. Also very scared. But the first step of going through this stuff is that I am just going to dump it all out on my floor. Yes, I thought that was the smartest way to do this. And yes, I'm still going to do it that way. I don't know where this yarn is going to go. So that's going to be an issue. I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. You know, it'll just sit in little piles on my floor for like a couple days after I do the rest of that. And then we'll, we'll figure, we'll figure it out from there. But yeah, let's lay out all of this yarn. Hello everybody and welcome to day two of dealing with crochet corner. So yesterday I did go through and take all of that yarn out of the boxes. It's in three piles around me and I don't know what I'm going to put where i'm gonna put any of it i also got a yarn order delivered yesterday which i already had placed okay it's been placed for like a week and a half and it just came in the mail but it's important to note that i got more yarn because i i i have more yarn i got black parfait chunky tangerine parfait chunky shell parfait chunky universal yarn in the color easel i think no color hopscotch this is something I haven't tried before, but it was pretty and on sale, so I got it. Same with this, which is cotton gold in color 1104 and 1102. And it's like shiny. <laughs> but I did have more yarn come in, which is important to point out because it, it's getting added to my pile of i'm not really sure where this is gonna go yet i think my next order of business is going to be taking care of that premier yarn right there in that box you see the box that says premier yarns that is a box of yarn that i have been using for projects for like the past week and a half and it's also yarn that i got from premier about two weeks ago yes i order a lot of yarn from premier okay i love i love their perfect junkie yarn <laughs> But I think I'm going to go through that and pull out the balls of yarn that I don't need to re-roll and keep the balls of yarn that I do need to re-roll in there because I know there's a whole bunch of yarn in here that needs to be re-rolled and that's why it's here. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through that Premier box and then probably the little tote bag that's right next to it because it's just the same thing. It's a whole bunch of yarn that either needs to be re-rolled or has been re-rolled and hasn't been put away properly. So let's go do that and then we will go from there.
Okay, so I did what I said I was going to do. Shocker, surprising. I put my yarn that needs to be rolled into this box right here. The yarn that's already rolled is in that pile over there. And then I also went ahead and emptied like the three or four project bags that I had, but most of them were just like needing to be redistributed. So this bag right here is stuff that needs to go away in my materials. So like safety eyes, jingle bells, and stuff like that. This little bag turned into uh, whips, so works in progresses. This bag right here is actually my project bag this is the one i like to take around with me because of how big and spacious that it is so it's finally cleared out and ready for its next project and then the sheep bag over by my door is stuff that is already done and i don't know why it's up here it should be downstairs with my completed projects and with stuff that's ready for markets so we've done a whole bunch the next kind of section that we have is stuff that goes in my bed and when i say in my bed i mean like my bed opens up and stuff like goes it goes like under my mattress but it's inside the frame does that make sense like it doesn't pull out the sides of my bed my entire mattress like a little stuff it's real it's really weird to describe but you'll see it in a second so that's kind of like the next thing that i have to do or i'm thinking that's like the next good thing to do because of just the weird stuff that i have around however going into my bed is the biggest pain in the butt so i want to make sure that i have everything that goes under my bed before i open it up so what i'm going to do next is go through this wicker basket right here and that wicker basket slash bag behind me to see what needs to go under my bed and then just throw everything else that i need to take care of in a pile and then we'll do that after i go into my bed so let's do some sorting really quickly and then i'll show you how my bed works because it's really really cool hi okay so the pile that you're seeing in front of you is all the stuff that needs to go in my bed and i wanted to show you how my bed works because i know that what i said probably made no sense but it has this little well, oh i almost lost it I almost lost it. it has this little like pulley thingy here a little strap that you pull and it like unhooks the mattress and then you just pull up the mattress which sounds a lot easier than it is because i kept everything on my bed like an idiot and this is where i store a lot of my craft stuff because i have a lot i have a lot more hobbies than just crochet so i tend to keep things for a crafting purpose and this is kind of what it turns into <laughs> but i need to get all of this stuff right in front of me under my bed that is what we're going to do really quickly All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my bedroom. <laughs> okay, so it's been a little bit. I'm back in my room, and I'm going to be so real with y'all when I say I don't know what the best thing to do next is. I, I really don't know. What I would normally do is put away my fluffy yarn that's in this pile over here, Um, but the fluffy yarn that I have actually goes into my basket that my work in progresses are in at the moment. So I think what we're going to have to do is work... <laughs> In this bin here this bin is filled with projects that i have started or need repairs and it's obviously gotten to the point that it's been a really long time since i've worked on any of these projects because the bin is full and i'm gonna be so real with you when i say i have no idea what's in this bin so i think what we're gonna do is go through the bin and pick out projects that i can finish this week and ones that i can't because i know there are some in here that are like hundreds of hours of work and i obviously don't have the time to do that this week like this one that's right on top which is like the project that's right on top which is this bag right here this bag has i think like 55 little squares in it they all look like this but i haven't worked on it <laughs> i really haven't and all of these squares are to make a giant like pixel art blanket and i obviously don't have the time to do that this week so i'm gonna pull the yarn that goes with that project out of here i think there's another ball of it in here somewhere yep after i go through this bin i'll go up in my closet and grab my project bags and then put each project into the bag and then store those bags under my bed which i should have done earlier but it's fine but this next one on top is actually one that we are going to fix today because it's it's a fix it, it needs to be fixed this is a blanket that we actually made together over six months ago at this point and it's already been used however when it was being used my cat ended up really really liking it and trying to steal it from my mom so he tore out all of my tied in ends to the point where most of them are becoming untied so obviously this is something that's super easy just needs to be repaired so it's gonna go on the other side oh my gosh oh my gosh i remember this oh gosh it has been so long since i worked on this but this is actually a sweater oh my gosh oh my gosh 
gosh, there's so many squares. Dude, I totally forgot about this project. Sorry, low-key freaking out. Um, I haven't seen this project in a very long time. I don't know if I can finish this, actually. I don't even know if I have enough yarn to finish it. So we are just going to set it over here and it's going to get its own project bag and I'll deal with that later. And then finally, we have this, which I believe is a scarf, actually. Oh my God, it's actually really pretty. What was I doing? I don't know anything about the scarf. I don't know what hook size I was using. I don't know what pattern I was using. Um, Because I don't know what I was doing, this one's going to have to be frogged, actually, because I didn't keep a hook with it or anything. I'm really dumb. Okay, really dumb. But my bin is officially empty, hello! Which means that I can put all of my extra Premier fluffy yarn in this bin. First, I'm describing all of the yarn that is sitting behind me. Most of it is the Chanel Bloom yarn or yarn that I have multiple balls of. So it can just, you know, sit in the bin, it's fine. I really underestimated how much yarn this thing could hold. I thought it could hold a lot more yarn. It's already practically full. However, I do have some more Chanel yarn. I have these three bags of yarn that just came in the mail yesterday that I showed you earlier. So I'm gonna open them up and put them in here as well. And just like that, the bin is full again. <laughs> Dude, I'm just kind of realizing I have no idea where the rest of this yarn is gonna go. All that yarn we unpacked yesterday, yeah, no idea where that's gonna end up. But now that this bin is completely full, I'm gonna to put this bin where it goes which is actually where i just threw this blanket great job me let's do a little bit of rearranging really quickly and crochet corner is officially clean except for my trash cans i need to be emptied out minus the trash cans this is what crochet corner is supposed to look like so obviously i had way too much stuff over there and now it's just over here it's kind it's kind of taking up the rest of my room um so we still need we still got some work we need to do ladies and gents still got some work we need to do in addition to all the fluffy yarn that was rolled i have i think just four balls of just miscellaneous yarn that needs to be put away so i'm gonna get project bags for these two projects and then we'll go from there but i don't really know what we'll do after that so i'm gonna go do that and i'll come back first off i apologize if you can hear the fan in the background it has gotten very hot in here because the sun is setting and i can't take it anymore which means my reptiles can't take it anymore i have done a little bit of rearranging i put those oh what did i say i was gonna do i put those projects in the project bags and then actually one of them is down there and the other one's in my closet i also went ahead and went through all of that yarn that we unpacked yesterday putting away ones that were like all the same color into extra project bags along with a couple of things that i was like oh this is a good project idea while i was looking through them yesterday uh, pretty much i used all of my project bags to store extra yarn or future projects in that aren't started but are still a project yarn wise you get what i'm saying so my floor now looks like this it's definitely getting better <laughs> happy thursday first off we're all going to collectively ignore my outfit because it is so hot in my room and i don't have shorts that match this shirt and i like this shirt so i have dogs on my shorts but we're going to ignore that <laughs> but today is our last day together unfortunately i really wish we had more time to do actual projects together this week but sadly we do not however we do still have this blanket. oh that's hot sorry however we still do have this blanket to fix up together which is all of these ends on this side because my cat likes to destroy things so that is what we are going to do right now to fix up this blanket i'm just gonna use fabric fusion to make the knot stick together normally i would like do fancy schmancy yarn knot but because of the fact that i have already tried to hide the ends on this blanket and just with the type of yarn that it is unfortunately that will not work on this piece and don't worry i have already had the discussion with my mom of oh my gosh i don't think i'm gonna be able to fix it to make it look perfect she's completely fine with it she just wants her blanket back but let's go fix up this blanket super quickly and then maybe we'll have time to do one more thing we'll see first thing is blanket so let's go do some blanket repairs
It is a very long time later, but the blanket is currently on my floor, still drying. All of the ends are now together properly, and it is a wonderful little time in my bedroom. Now, I did have to take a break because my room gets really, really hot in here when the sun is setting because my sun comes through the window, and with all the reptile lights, it gets really hot in here as it is. But it's a little bit later, the sun has set, and we have time to do one more thing together, so what we are going to do is roll my yarn. I love when I time-lapse me rolling my yarn, even if I don't post it, because it really is so satisfying to watch the yarn just become little balls i don't know why it entertains me so much but it really does that is what i'm gonna go do i'm gonna go roll my yarn into balls It took me so long to roll out that yarn that my lighting is so bad it looks like I'm on an alternate planet uh, such as Mars or something really far away in the galaxy. My really bad poor lighting aside though, we have officially finished. I rolled all that yarn, I fixed the blanket, I cleaned up my entire crochet corner, and I'm very proud of myself. Even though this week's video wasn't like super duper projecty based, I still think it was kind of fun to show like the behind the scenes of, I don't know, my business, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, I guess what I'm saying is thank you for sitting down and cleaning up my mess with me because if, if I didn't make any video out of it, I would not have held myself accountable it would not have happened thank you guys i really do appreciate you being here but with that being said we have reached the end of our time together today so thank you guys again so much for joining me i had a whole bunch of fun and i hope you had a whole bunch of fun with me let me know if you guys are working on any cool projects recently i know i haven't been i've been cleaning my crochet corner please tell me about your projects i'm very sad that i wasn't able to work on any of this week but yeah that's all that i have for you and i cannot wait to see you next saturday bye